2003, MySpace just became a thing and cell phones look like this. Meanwhile, in Toronto, Canada, a group of entrepreneurs are beginning to imagine a new model for shared workspaces for social innovators. One of the entrepreneurs, Tanya Sermon, volunteers for six months to get the project off the ground, and in 2004, the first Center for Social Innovation opens its doors to 14 founding members at 215 Spadina. 2010, cell phones now look like this, and CSI steps it up. With the help of their innovation in social finance called Community Bonds, they purchase a 36,000 square foot building filled from top to bottom with world-changing social entrepreneurs, CSI Annex. 2012, CSI continues to grow. They open a 10,000 square foot space in Canada's largest public housing community, CSI Regent Park. The Center for Social Innovation is a co-working space, a vibrant and dynamic community, and a launch pad for people and initiatives that are changing the world. So the community of the Center for Social Innovation is really composed of such a diversity of different people and ideas. Uh, arts, environment, social justice, for-profits, non-profits. At its core, the Center for Social Innovation is supported by an incredible staff team, a remarkable board of directors, and just thriving positivity from our members. We got to do this. No, this couch isn't good for that one. This is B-roll. No, I hope this is B-roll. <laughs> here at CSI, here at CSI we have zebra pillows. So here at CSI we offer all the basics of an office including internet, phones, printers, and then there's also some shared resources like shared meeting rooms, event spaces, and communal kitchens as well. We offer different membership packages here at CSI. Space is just the beginning. We also provide members with tools, with services, and connections to help them succeed. Anything from business development and access to networking opportunities and even microloans. And it's with incredible support of our partners that we're able to achieve this vision. We know that people come to us for practical reasons, but that our secret sauce is our culture. And we're really intentional about fostering it and creating environments where people default to optimism, where everyone feels like they can be part of the solution and where they can keep it real and be authentic. And the way we do it is by stewarding community animation in the staff that we hire, by designing our spaces for serendipity and ensuring that every single member that joins us has a common purpose to make the world a better place. That's the foundation to which our culture is based on. Since its early inception, CSI has grown from 14 founding organizations to over 2,000 members. Let's meet a few of them. School for Social Entrepreneurs. Our Horizon. Ontario Nonprofit Network. Sun Farmer. Good Point Delivery. Cycle Toronto. 21 Toys. Pie. Grant Book. The Canadian Mental Health Association. Ladies Learning Code. One Laptop per Child Canada. Professional Writers Association of Canada. PWAC. Academic Internship Council. First Access. EPIP. Return on Change. Conservative Partners. Nation Swell. Drive Change. All Star Code. Chinks. Upraise Learning. The Social Change. Ashoka. Open Assembly. Project Art. The Toronto Tool Library. <laughs> Well, CSI, is just, uh, it's an amazing place just to connect people and bounce ideas off of. Uh, initially, that was we were using it for that, for meeting space. We got a loan uh, through the Catapult program to get uh, $20,000 to get us to the next level of organization, to start paying staff, actually, so we can eat and pay rent. That was, that was helpful. We, we, shared shared, staff. we shared staff with other organizations. Um, one of our interns, actually, um, after he had his internship with us, we connected him with the Toronto Tool Library, and they've now hired him on as, as one of their their first, their first hires. Our next door neighbor here um, were this uh, incredible you know, two girls who started this company called Lollywear um, and they're also industrial designers and so when we presented them the idea of, of creating a tampon applicator they were like a hundred percent and they're just best in class in feminine hygiene uh, production design so it actually worked out perfectly and we met them here at CSI. Two thousand eleven. While quietly minding their own business in Toronto, CSI was approached by a passionate and rather persistent New York-based entrepreneur with a few ideas of his own. 
I got an email from Dave Guise, who was somebody I'd never heard of before. So I first sent an email to Eli asking for a tour, for an opportunity to come visit CSI. He subsequently arranged a flight. I was a little bit surprised because he, he didn't have a trip already planned. And he came and I, I went ahead and uh, gave him about an hour's worth of my time. At the end of the meeting, I was blown away by what I experienced when I visited CSI. Towards the end of the tour, one of the things Dave said to me was, would you ever be interested in coming down to New York City? Their uh, response was, no. So I um, came back to New York City and I told my friend who owns the building that they are very interested and they want to move forward. Uh, basically a little white lie. So kind of towards the end of the conversation, he said, look, I, I, you know, I don't really want to take no. Let me send you some information. My friends bought a building and I thought to myself, yeah, his friends bought a building. That's going to be really uh, quite something. I knew better than them at the time. He ended up following up with an email that included a press release indicating that his friend had purchased a two million square foot building for $990 million. I read that, I looked at Tanya, and I looked back down, I looked at Tanya, I looked back down, and I said, maybe we'll go to New York and meet with this guy. So the, the ultimate vision for the Center for Social Innovation in New York is, is really similar to the ultimate vision of the Center for Social Innovation in Toronto. We want to be the best possible place in the world for a social entrepreneur to develop their ideas and create real impact. We've made sure that cycling issues are given the importance that they deserve at the municipal level. 300,000 health clinics around the world lack access to reliable energy. We're trying to solve that. Drive Change is trying to turn red lights green for formerly incarcerated young people. And we are doing so by using food trucks as a mechanism for employment and transferable skill learning. I think what we're hoping to do is bring hope and possibility and a commitment to solution. Uh, that's what CSI is about. It's about hope. It's about a belief that we could spend all of our time fighting with each other about who's right and who's wrong, or we can try some shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs>while we were working on this video something incredible happened we bought this building a 64,000 square foot space that was made possible with the help of over 200 community-based investors CSI is part of an incredible growing movement putting people and planet first we believe that anything's possible when we put our minds to it we know that it's up to us but we can only do it with your help come join us that was it good let's go Ha, 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 ha.